The unmistakable order of burning copper wire is what welcomes you to Morris Mbetz's workshop. A wisp of smoke curls and a pop of fuse is what 35 youths are testing. Mbetz's passion for technology began in a small village in Mombasa County, where he connected a bulb to a battery and used it to light his home. I remember I used bicycle dynamo, which was around 400 shillings. And from there on, we never used to use, again, kerosene lamps. I used to develop stuff for people. For example, if your radio has a problem, I'll repair the radio, I'll get money. Morris is quite inquisitive, and his desire to learn more than just theory did not make him last long in college. He dropped out after two months. So, like, I read about transistor when I was eight years, and I know how it works. I can be able to use it. But here I'm told that I'm going you after, let's say, two, two, three years. So I was not patient. So I had to leave. Capital became his biggest hurdle. Although he had a flurry of ideas, he sought support from his friend who lent him 5,000 shillings as a launch pad for his career. It was a hassle. I remember that time I used to pay my rent 4,000 shillings and I couldn't afford. So I have a friend. He was, at that time I was working, his name is Tuva, he was working with a clearing agent. So I, I went to him, I told him, I have an idea and I can be able to stop a moving vehicle with a mobile phone. They drove the car, I stopped it from the phone, I could listen to conversation, I could see the location of the vehicle. So that's how people started knowing about me. Mesmerized by Mbetsa's skill and drive, the former CEO of the National Commission for Science and Technology employed him. So they supported me now to do a proper prototype. Now the challenge that they had that time, because we didn't have any equipment, we was, like, I used to design, send the file to China, China now fabricates, send, send it to me. Now you see, once somebody else is doing the manufacturing for you, there's some disclosure that you have to do, like for them to be able to manufacture that particular product. And that's when, after a year, I saw similar products in the market that I had initially designed. And I had not patented because I didn't know how even the patent process is. It, it gave me fame. People know, knew about me. The government at that time gave me a little support, but it didn't generate any revenue. So I would do a project that is worth half a million, but I'll get paid 5000 His invention attracted a scholarship abroad. And then 2014, I went to the U.S. with Yali. So I went to Notre Dame University. And then after that, I got my internship with IBM. So I, I stayed with IBM, I think, for around two, three months. Then I came back. I, get, I got another internship with Microsoft. So this institution, somehow, um, I started to learn how these big corporates uh, 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 operate. He ventured into drone technology, where he pioneered the first passenger drone in Africa. So we did the drone. It was a big success. We did several test flights and everything went well. But then still we, we didn't get investors that would buy in to start investing in technology. Morris yet again decided to take a risk and invest in Speed Governor. The same time we were waiting for NTSA to be able to announce uh, the Speed Governor because it was a risk. I had put every coin that I had. Sometimes I didn't even have 1,000 to fuel my car. But I wasn't afraid because this is what I wanted to do with my life. So I said even if it means selling everything that I have, but I'll make sure that this place um, at least uh, 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 it works. So we started getting small orders to start producing for them the Speed Governor. Uh, speed Governor, roughly it's about in wholesale, maybe between 20 to 25,000. And we can be able to produce 1,000 every single day. But we can't produce a thousand every single day because for me to produce a thousand, I need X number of components for me to be able to. So I produce a thousand, Napumzika, two, three days. I bring in uh, uh, components. So I, would, I can't say that we've made a profit. Morris plans and hopes to be manufacturing smartphones going forward. And our target is by next year, in Feb, we'll start doing more complex devices like smartphones, tablets, laptops, home automation systems right here. Innovation can be technical, but innovation is a way of expressing your ideas. And that is exactly what Maurice Mbetsa has done. He has used his creativity to employ close to 35 youths who have expressed his ideas. Sarah Adam, K24, for my hustle.